Hello guys, Solitude Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Holy Knight. I wanted to watch this OVA series because it had the etchy tag. I have never been so disappointed with an OVA series before. It's not that it's terrible, it's that it has so much potential to be great, but it ended up being a major disappointment. In this OVA series, the main character Shinta meets a hot girl named Lilith, and upon meeting her, she tells him that she wants to have his child. Shinta is surprised about this. She tries to make love to him, but he runs away. He soon learns that Lilith is being hunted down by an organization because she's not human. She's a major threat to society and must be eliminated. The organization tells Shinta that because he's the successor to his family lineage, that he must be the one to eliminate this monster. It's obvious that she's a vampire, but for some reason, this OVA series won't use that specific term. I was so disappointed in the etchy scenes. Lilith is one of the hottest anime girls I have ever seen. But every time she's about to get really intimate with Shinta, he just runs away. Basically, the anime studio didn't want the OVA series to get too lewd. But I just don't get it. You don't have to show them making love. Just show them touching each other a lot. They could even show them making love, but just don't show their private parts. Just do what Tokyo Ghoul did when Toka and Kaneki were making love. I don't even get the censorship. This is an OVA series, not an anime series. They have more freedom to show really lewd scenes, so why not show it? Why tease the viewers? Give the viewers what they want to see. The plot is just so bizarre. There's no explanation or build up to Lilith's parents being killed in the flashback that was in the first episode. Was it simply because they're vampires? What a generic reason. Why not give a more unique reason than they are vampires must be killed? It would be nice to see what crimes Lilith and her parents actually committed. It would help me understand why the humans wanted the vampires exterminated. With vampires and vampire hunters in the show, you would expect there to be amazing fights in this OVA series. But there are no fight scenes on screen. The fight scenes were skipped over, and the OVA series ended before we couldn't see any other fight scene occur. That was so unsatisfying to watch. I really only liked one character in the show, and that was Lilith, because she was really hot. Shinta was a spineless main character. I will praise him for standing up for himself at the end of the show, but for most of his OVA series, he was a pushover. Shizuru was Shinta's childhood friend, and she was just born to watch. She got jealous when Lilith was giving Shinta a lot of attention, but she never tried to make a move on Shinta before Lilith showed up. She wasn't seductive as a character, she just seemed like a typical childhood friend. The opening song for this OVA series was okay, but the ending song was amazing. It was very catchy. The music was okay in this OVA series, the animation style was so appealing to look at in this OVA series. The animation look okay. The character's movements look smooth. I can't recommend to watch this OVA series because it was just teasing the viewers with its etchy scenes and not actually letting characters get intimate. There were no fight scenes in this OVA series, which was just bizarre because it's supposed to be vampire hunters versus vampires. The flashbacks didn't give us much information about the character's past, and it made the story confusing to watch. I give this OVA series a 5 out of 10, only because of how hot Lilith looked, and because the ending song was pretty catchy. Otherwise, I would have given this OVA series a much lower score. So, that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day or night, whoever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.